Welcome to Buoy Pumps of Canada Limited's instructional video series. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble Buoy's line of premium performance rotary gear pumps, the Ultra Seal. Before conducting any service work to your buoy pump, it is essential that you wear proper protective equipment and conduct your work in a safe and clean working environment. Assembling your Ultra Seal pump can be done with a combination of standard tools and a few pump specific tools which are manufactured by buoy. These are available at your nearest authorized buoy dealer. For this project, you will need the following. Buoy seal installer, buoy lip seal sleeves, buoy mechanical seal sleeve, buoy bearing installer, vice clamps, torque gun, an imperial socket set, flathead screwdriver, straight edge, grease gun, silicone based liquid gasket with a plus 315 degrees Celsius maximum temperature, petrochemical grade anti-seize lubricant, metal on high tech EP 1.5 grease, ISO 68 whey oil, hammer and punch, safety glasses, safety gloves, and steel toe boots. Do not proceed to work on an Ultra Seal pump if you do not have all of the tools listed in this video, or if the tools that you do have are not in good working condition. Only work on an Ultra Seal pump in a well-ventilated, secure, and safe space. To maximize performance, Ultra Seal pumps feature four bearing chambers equipped with high load bearings and buoys advanced sealing technologies. The front and rear of the idler and the rear of the drive shaft come equipped with identical short bearing chambers, ensuring the assembly process is identical for each. The front of the drive shaft has unique internal components and will require a slightly different assembly process, which we'll get to later. Before we begin, it is important that you use only new gaskets. It is also advised that you clean all other components and check them for excessive wear and tear. Let's start with the pre-assembly of the front and back plates. Take one of the small seal housings. With a seal installer, insert two Viton lip seals into the housing ensuring that the lips face the same direction. Then lubricate and insert two Viton O-rings into the O-ring grooves. Repeat for the remaining two small seal housings. To make things easy, anchor the back plate onto a flat surface using vice clamps. If the plate does not have dowel pins, Install two dowel pins into the dowel pin holes. Lubricate the inside of the first bearing chamber. Then insert two Teflon seals using the seal installer. Ensure the lips of the seal face the inside of the plate. Insert one small seal housing into the bearing chamber with the seal lips facing inwards. Repeat for the second bearing chamber and set the plate aside. Let's move the vice clamps to anchor the front plate ensuring the dowel pins are in place. Now, repeat the installation of the two Teflon seals and seal holder for the small bearing chamber. With the center case anchored to a surface, insert the two assembly pins into the front of the center housing. Next, Push one housing gasket next to the center housing, followed by a hardened wear plate and one additional gasket. The large bore of the wear plate must line up with the desired drive gear location. Then install the front end plate onto the assembly pins. Again, make sure the large bearing chamber is aligned with the desired drive gear location. Insert 10 3 8 inch hex bolts into the bolt holes and tighten by hand. Then, remove the assembly pins and install the remaining two bolts. Using a torque gun, tighten all housing bolts to 35 to 40 foot-pounds of torque in a star pattern. Once that's done, lubricate the center case interior and both gear assemblies using whey oil. 
Then, insert the drive gear and shaft assembly into the drive bore of the housing. Next, place a lip seal sleeve onto the front of the idler shaft and insert the idler gear and shaft assembly into the top bore of the housing. Then, slip two assembly pins into the rear of the center housing. You'll need to place housing gaskets next to the center housing. Depending on the gear material and condition of pump components, the number of gaskets required to reach optimal performance will vary. Start with five gaskets for helical steel gears or seven gaskets for Buna N rubber gears. With the gaskets in place, there should be less than 0.01 inches of clearance behind the gears. To ensure you get it right, hold a straight edge against the gaskets and measure the gap between the straight edge and the gear, ensuring the gears do not touch the straight edge. Add or remove gaskets as necessary to achieve the correct clearance. Once that is done, place the hardened wear plate behind the gaskets, followed by another housing gasket. As we did earlier, install the two dowel pins into the pinholes on the back plate. Place two lip seal sleeves on the ends of the gear shafts and then guide the rear end plate onto the assembly pins, with the end cap pockets facing away from the center housing. Then, place the 10 3 8 inch hex bolts into the bolt holes and hand tighten. Remove the assembly pins and install the remaining two bolts. Once again, torque the housing bolts in a star pattern at 35 to 40 foot-pounds of torque. Finally, thread and tighten the drain plugs in the end plates to the same torque. And that's it for the center case and gears. With the Ultra Seal, the bearing assembly process is the same for the front and rear of the idler shaft and the rear of the drive shaft. We'll show you how to assemble the first one. Simply repeat for the others. First, place a seal sleeve over the end of the gear shaft. Then, take the high load capacity roller bearing and find the inner race. Install the bearing into the bearing chamber with the race facing the center case. Please note that with a 2-inch Ultra Seal or a 3-inch Rubber Geared Ultra Seal, this roller bearing will be replaced with a second high load capacity ball bearing. Remove both shields from the high load capacity ball bearing. Install the bearing into the bearing chamber. Secure the components by installing the snap ring into the bearing chamber. Next. Place a lubricated O-ring into the O-ring groove on the end plug. Brush anti-seize compound onto the threads of the end plug, then thread the end plug into the end cap. Install a grease fitting into the end plug and grease the end cap until you feel resistance on the grease applicator. Using a handgun, this typically requires five to six full pumps. Repeat as necessary for any additional small bearing chambers that require assembly. We're into the home stretch. All that remains is to reassemble the front drive bearing chamber. Once all three of the small bearing chambers are assembled, turn the drive gear by hand to ensure proper meshing of the gears. If the pump does not turn, please contact Bowie Pumps of Canada Limited or your nearest authorized dealer for assistance. When everything is working, we can prepare the drive seal housing and mechanical seal saddle for installation. Let's start with the outside of the mechanical seal saddle. Lubricate and install three Viton O-rings into the O-ring grooves and set the saddle aside. Then, install one snap ring into the end of the drive seal housing using snap ring pliers. With the seal installer, push two Teflon lip seals into the housing against the snap ring. Ensure all lips face the same direction. 
Now, place the remaining snap ring into the snap ring groove of the drive seal housing. Then, lubricate and install three Viton O-rings into the O-ring grooves and set aside. Turning your attention to the front plate, lubricate the drive shaft with a light film of whey oil. Open the mechanical seal packing making sure your hands and work surface are clean. Note the rotating and stationary elements. Both elements have a contact base that completes the seal. It is crucial that no debris or foreign material touches either seal face, or the seal will fail. Take the stationary element of the mechanical seal and insert the rubber-coated end of the seal into the mechanical seal saddle and set aside. Next, insert the buoy mechanical seal guide into the front bearing chamber. Take the rotating element of the mechanical seal. Using an oil-free barrier, push it onto the drive shaft and against the gear, with the contact face pointing away from the center housing. Wipe the drive shaft clean. Slide the saddle onto the pump shaft with the ceramic end facing the center case. Then, push the saddle and mechanical seal against the gear face, ensuring the inspection grooves face vertically. Remove the seal guide. Check to ensure the inspection grooves match the inspection port. Now, remove one shield on the main drive bearing. Preload the bearing with grease. With the shield of the bearing facing the center of the pump, install the bearing into the chamber flush with the mechanical seal saddle. Lubricate the outside of the drive seal housing. Then slide the housing into the bearing chamber, ensuring that the lips of the seals face the center of the pump. Remove the locking ring of the drive locking bearing. Install the bearing into the bearing chamber with the shield facing inwards. Ensure the components are in place by installing and tightening the bearing nut to 45 to 50 pounds of torque, removing the nut when you're done. Now, slide the lock ring of the main drive bearing firmly against the bearing. Using a hammer and punch, secure the lock ring onto the shaft with a clockwise rotation and tighten the set screw. To ensure the gears mesh properly, turn the drive shaft by hand. Brush anti-seize onto the bearing chamber threads. Install and tighten the bearing nut to 45 to 50 pounds of torque. Lock the nut in place by tightening the three set screws. Now, secure a threaded inspection plug into the inspection port. There you have it. Your buoy ultra seal is now back in prime working condition, ready for the next challenge you throw its way. Do not attempt to move the assembled ultra seal pump without the assistance of another person and or proper lift equipment. If you have any questions or require more information, please contact Buoy Pumps of Canada Limited or your nearest authorized dealer. Thanks for watching.